Hey there everybody, my name is Alex Spelt Like That. Today we have a very, very exciting review for you all. So to give you a little bit of context, a few weeks ago I received an email from a company called Fine Fine. It's spelt F-I-F-I-N-E. And specifically, I was reached out to by a man named Zier, I believe, it's Z-I-E-R, who's part of the marketing campaign for this company. Now, I had never heard of this company before, but after talking with him over email for several days, almost a week, I decided, yeah, let's go ahead and give this a shot. So he sent over two microphones for us to look at. We're gonna cover them in two different videos, so uh, stay tuned for the second one. But for the first one, we're gonna be unboxing, looking at the hardware, looking at all of the exterior stuff, and then also testing the actual microphones themselves. Our first microphone that we're gonna be looking at today is the Fine Fine K669C. You can see it's a little bit bent uh, from the Amazon shipping, but that should not be a problem. And let's just read what's on the front here. So it says, uh, it's a stable metal design, clear and full voice. It's a condenser microphone and it is for podcasting, streaming, and video creation. So before I started even creating this video or saying yes to doing the review, I did a little bit of research on this company, mainly for my own safety. I wanted to make sure this was a legit thing because I'm a very small channel. And what I found interesting is that this company, as it says here on the box, is mainly for podcasting, streaming, and video creation but it seems as though they're trying to get more into audio. So I'm really excited to kind of tear this microphone apart and really see what it can do as far as the music audio side of things go. Now, as you can imagine, Fine Fine is specifically for podcasting, streaming, video creation, and they're on a cheaper, lower budget, uh, type of spectrum, if you will. But they stand by their product. When I was talking to Zier over the multiple days of email, I uh, told him that I was really gonna be putting this to the test. This was gonna be an honest review, and he said, go for it. We're not worried at all. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's start by doing the unboxing. This is really fun. All right. Now, before we get into this unboxing, I want you to make sure that you go down and you hit the like button, you hit that subscribe button, and make sure that those bell notifications are on so that way you're notified every single Monday when we come out with a new episode. All right, now let's jump on into this unboxing. So we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up and let's see what we've got. Okay, so inside, there's a def decent amount of foam, and it's a double-sided foam, there's a manual there. Then you get the microphone itself, it's already on its mic stand. I won't lie, the mic stand feels a little bit like cheap plastic, like it might break over time, and it's hard to tell if this mic stand is, ooh my gosh, it really screws on there. What in the world? Okay, so it's one of those, you gotta take the bottom part off, then take that off. Okay, so there is a little bit of foam right here, a little bit of rubber actually, I should say. There's a little bit of rubber on that. For the microphone itself, it's got some good heft to it. It feels pretty strong. It's very small. So just to compare this with my uh, with my Newman, you can see that it's along the same size as a small diaphragm condenser mic from Newman or any other company. So it is a small diaphragm condenser mic. Uh, I like I like the black design. I can't seem to find a way to actually open it, but you can kind of see the uh, diaphragm conden the the condenser mic inside of here. And so obviously this would be the front, this would be the back. And so then the other thing that comes in, this actually feels really cool, I'm excited about this. This looks like a little desk 
tripod for the microphone. And this sucker is heavy. And it kicks out, it locks in, that's nice. And so you can just set it on your desk. And uh, yeah, it's sleek, simple design. I like that it's just solid black. It feels like actual metal. The uh, balls on the bottom are rubber, so they aren't gonna go anywhere. Or at least they're gonna have trouble sliding. And yeah, feels pretty strong, so that's good. All right, now for this. It's a condenser mic. It's got a Polaroid pattern. Sensitivity is negative 43 dB to positive 3 dB. Okay. The frequency range is anywhere from 30 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So you're cutting off about 10 hertz on the lower end. But honestly, if this is more for uh, podcasting and vocals and stuff, then that kind of makes sense. Ooh, it's actually got some really good information. This is this is stuff that you don't see a lot. Uh, in microphones. So this here is telling you kind of like where you should be positioning the mic. So this is definitely a microphone for kind of a beginner, uh, somebody who's just getting into audio, maybe just getting into recording themselves. And then here you've got, um, you know, kind of how to connect to your audio interface or into a mixer. It's got a phantom powered box separate, but most audio interfaces come with phantom power these days and so do most mixers so that's not necessary to have on there so I like that they put all that stuff on there it's definitely more of an entry-level uh, type of thing my least favorite part just so far my least favorite part is this actual mic holder it just feels very cheap very plastic and uh, feels like it's it, it could very easily with very little wear and tear uh, it could break down very quickly so um, but everything else feels pretty strong pretty good and um, yeah so now I think we uh, we put it to the test okay so there is the fine fine mic in its tripod it feels super sturdy it's not gonna go anywhere you'd have to really smack this thing to get it to fall over so that's fantastic and you can bend it in just about any range of motion that you want but we're just gonna keep it we're just gonna keep it like that okay now if you've seen any of the other product review videos on this channel you know what we're about to do we are going to go through the gauntlet with this microphone so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it run through vocals and we'll do a a couple of different vocals we'll do talking since it is a podcasting slash streaming microphone and then we'll put it through some singing maybe through some harmonies we'll see we're gonna test it on guitar we're gonna test it on bass amp which the fact that it cuts out the 20 Hertz range might not make it good for bass amp but we're gonna give that a shot anyway we're going to use it as a uh, overhead drum mic as well as a room mic for drums We'll put ukulele on it. We'll put some keyboard on it. So let's jump right into that. To really understand the dynamic control of this microphone, we're gonna do some light singing, some loud singing like belting, and then maybe some falsetto as well. Fumbling his confidence and wondering why the world has passed him by. Hoping that he's bent for more. Wow, this vocal is super incredible. I'm getting great tone. There's really no mud. Oh, we were meant to live for so much more. Have we lost ourselves? Somewhere we live inside. Somewhere we live inside. For the belting section, I felt like we had some really good dynamic control on top of the tone. Somewhere we live inside. Dreaming about providence and where the mice and men have second for the falsetto it felt like there was a little bit of closeness there really good tone maybe we were living with our eyes half open maybe we're bent and broken 
Overall, the clarity is super high, great tonality, maybe just a little too loud in the highs, but all in all, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 because it's, in, it's just incredible. It's really picking up the vocal very well. All right, now we're gonna hop over to the guitar and we're gonna lay down some guitar chords and just see how that sounds. For the guitar, I found the guitar to have really nice tonality, good dynamics, again, no mud. That's what's kind of amazing so far with this microphone is that the mud is like practically non-existent. I do feel like maybe I would like a little more mud or I just don't want it to have such a harsh cut in the mids for guitar, but overall, again, fantastic. So I would give this one a eight out of 10. Now, if you lay down guitar, you've got to lay down some bass guitar. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to plug in Baby Blue into our custom KBX-10 bass amp. And uh, let's see what kind of quality we get out of that. Now for the bass, fantastic tone. There's no mud at all, which is crazy because when you record bass on almost any microphone, one of the first things you're doing in the EQ is you're setting up that mid-low to just really duck down, but there's no need for that here. There's very little mud. I do feel like I would like a little more bass and less treble, but this is also something to think about. Um, you know, if you're gonna be recording a song where you want more of the high-end part of the bass present, this would be a great mic for you to use. So I'm gonna rate this one an eight out of 10. All right, next we're gonna put it through some drums. Let's listen to it on the overheads first. I think that the kick and snare are super present here. The cymbals aren't too loud, which is crazy for an overhead mic and for a condenser mic. Normally those cymbals just cut through everything. And I thought that the toms sounded really, really cool. You know, I really have zero complaints with this microphone for overheads for drums at all. And so I'm giving it a 10 out of 10 when you consider the price point that this is at and the clarity that you're getting from the drums. I think it sounds fantastic. Now that we've got some overheads, let's add in a room mic. For the room mic, I felt like the lows were really, really solid, really good, but the high frequency sounds were just way too loud between the snare, the cymbals, everything was just a bit too much. And I would not use this as a room mic anytime soon. It was crazy going from the drum overheads to the room mic because the drum overheads, the cymbals were subdued. They were, they were managed as far as their dynamics go and everything, but yeah, not here. So I'm gonna give the room mic a six out of 10. All right, now it wouldn't be a full band microphone if we couldn't apply it to the keyboard as well. So let's see what it sounds like on our Privia PX860. Now for the keys, you know, I think it would sound a lot better on keys if it were an actual like acoustic piano, something that is actually gonna be hitting actual strings that you can get inside and set up the microphone there. But I don't think it does a terrible job here in the keys department. I think it's got great dynamic control. It's got really good tones. Um, I was kind of surprised at how well the lows were popping out as far as like what was going on in my in in my left hand in the bass i felt like that sounded really good uh not too muddy i have less issues with this one so i'm giving this one a nine out of ten for the keys and i'm not quite done with the strings i think i am going to grab that ukulele and just see what it sounds like on that Now 
for the ukulele, I felt kind of the same stuff as I did with the guitar. The tonality was good. No mud, which, you know, is more important with the uke than it is for guitar. A few too many transients, like all of the plucks and stuff, you can really hear my fingers scrape the strings really loud, and I feel like I should get more of the actual tonality out than just the strings being plucked. But at the same point, I would rather have more transients than not enough transients because you can always, you know, uh, squash those down. So overall, I'd give that one an eight out of 10 as well. So now let's talk about the overall mic itself. Now we know what it sounds like. It sounds phenomenal, but there were some issues that I noticed as I was kind of putting everything together. The first issue we talked about at the very beginning, the fact that this stand that it's on feels a little bit flimsy. I would want that to be made out of uh, metal or even just a thicker piece of plastic. I know we're getting a little nitpicky here, but we kind of have to. It just feels like if I drop it on the wrong day, it's, it's gonna break and it won't fit. And another thing is it didn't come with an adjustment a uh, screw, something like this, didn't come with anything like that. And that may not seem like too crucial uh, to most of you all watching, because for most of you, you're using a normal mic stand. But for me, like on my, on my vocal mic stand, it, it's a smaller screw. So I would want, I would want to see some of this in the packaging as well. Just one, because most mics come with it. In fact, most people end up throwing theirs out because it comes with it and they're like, what is this for? The other big issue that I had hardware wise was the fact that I couldn't get a certain mic cable to be plugged into the microphone itself. You can see here on this video, I eventually got it, but I really had to struggle to get it in there. And when I pulled it back out, I noticed that I did um, scrape up the inside of the housing a little bit on the mic itself not to the point where it's like damaged horribly or anything like that the hardware for this is it's not great and you shouldn't have to guess which xlr cables you need um, for this microphone itself with that said every other mic cable that i own fit it just fine so it could just be that i have the one microphone cable that is just too snug for it um, but again, that's not something that you should have to worry about. So that's, that's going to affect this overall rating a little bit. Tonality was fantastic. I think the presentation is really good. I love the rubber. I don't know why I like it so much, but I really like the rubber stopper on the bottom of the mic stand itself. I love this little tripod. This little tripod alone is worth the money for the, the microphone. And that brings me to my very last point, which is pricing. The pricing on this microphone is ridiculous. Like we have it listed as a mic less than 50 bucks, but it's, it's only $35 full price. Isn't that insane? So overall, I think that this mic deserves the ranking of eight out of 10. I think it sounds phenomenal. There are some hardware issues that I would want to be cleared up. There are a little bit of tonality issues as far as in the mids go um, that I would want to be cleared up because, you know, as great as it is to have zero mud, if I want it to be a little bit muddy, I shouldn't have to go in and throw an EQ in. I would rather throw an EQ to drop mud out than to boost some. So that's something that I think that the, this company could play around with a little bit more as far as the tonality goes. But with that said, it's maybe one of the very few microphones I've ever used where you could take it out of the box. You can record almost any instrument or any type of vocal or anything and be ready to just go ahead and send it off to your producer or go ahead and just start producing it. I think if you threw an EQ on anything that we did today, it would be very, very minimal that you would be actually affecting with the EQ itself. So the fact that you're almost cutting the EQ out completely is kind of insane. Um, as well as that, the dynamic control is a bit ridiculous as well, um, to the point where I would still throw a compressor on, but I probably wouldn't compress a whole lot of anything. Um, it's just, it's really tight. It's, it sounds really good. Um, so yeah, an eight out of 10 
Now, if you're interested in looking into these mics yourself, Fine Fine has given me a discount code for me to give to you all. So it's a 15% off discount code. The discount code is 15 F I F I N E 669 C. Um, and that's a 15% discount on this specific uh, 669C condenser mic that you can get on their website. I also have a link below. If you really want to support this channel, use the link below. It is an affiliate link. So that way I get a little bit of commission. It's still cheaper for you in the long run, but I get a little bit of commission by you using that microphone. And that's going to go into making better music making better videos and providing you all with much better reviews in the future. That's all I have for this video today. I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and make sure that your bell notifications are turned on. Let me know in the comments below. What did you think about this mic? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it sounds as good as I did? Did you not think it sounds as good as I did? Let's have a discussion, right? Thank you all so much again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you next week. See ya. Bye.